How you guys doing? Welcome back to another video. This is Tuna Tech. So, I've opened this before. This is a Wise Cam version 3. It's made for outdoor. This is a new one unopened and I want to make sure that you guys realize that for me a smart home isn't just about smart products it's also about singularity and what I mean by that is having everything under one app for example I had some wise stuff for a while I had ring stuff I had blink stuff I had smart things and while all those things had their pluses and minuses it still was a pain in the butt to go back and forth through different apps. Now, I still use smart things for some door locks. I still use uh, Eufy for a back floodlight. Um, but that's about to change. So again, this is Wise, and they are blowing up their smart home population of products. But they do not have a outdoor floodlight camera. They do have an outdoor camera besides this that's battery operated. This is not battery operated. I'm not going to open this today. I've already opened these but basically this is an outdoor camera. I want to say it's $19.99. Go to their website. They had some changes with the version 3. I think it's still sold out. They're kind of, they have this new subscription service you can do if you'd like. It's not mandatory at this point um, but what's interesting about that is that they're trying to start some stuff like um, a subscription service for longer videos, person detection, and all that stuff. But here it is. That's the camera. But what I'm interested in is a company called Wasserstein. You're thinking, what? Say that again? Wasserstein. And that's what I'm talking about right there. The Wasserstein. This is a 3-in-1 floodlight charger and mount compatible with the Wise Cam version 3. Now, before we get into opening this, they make this for a ton of cameras, from Ring to Nest to version 2 of the, of the Wise Cam. Uh, but this one intrigued me the most because, for one, it's got the floodlight that is motion detected, that's right there. It comes with a remote so you can alter, you know, alter the sensitivity of the lights because, like I said, this is not a Wise light. So I can't control this to the app. But what's interesting is you can once you mount this you can use a USB port on the side to charge the camera so it's kind of both so if you look at this it provides 2,000 lumens of light it's IP65 waterproof contingency charges your wise camera and includes remote control to adjust light intensity duration and sensitivity to your power so you got materials PC and aluminum sensor angle range is 120 degrees sensor distance 3 to 33 feet Max LED light is 2,000 looms. Color temp is 55 to 6500K. And AC 120 volt. It includes all these items right here, which is interesting. It's got a gasket against it, so you, when you hang it against your wall, you're not having any, any water issues. But in addition to that, here are some of the things that they've listed just uh, in general about it. It says it's a powerful floodlight. The Wasserstein wired floodlight provides 2,000 looms of light. A built-in light intensity sensor and motion sensor ensures that light will only turn on in the dark when motion is detected up to 33 feet away. Charging convenience. Compatible with Wise Cam 3, which we have right here. Your outdoor surveillance camera remains powered day and night with continuous charging. Because this does not have a battery, and that's why I'm intrigued by this product. Thoughtful design. Our floodlight comes with a base attachment. Insert the camera base to the base attachment to mount the floodlight. You can adjust the camera to your preferred viewing angle. It's got a remote control that can control the brightness and duration of sensitivity. You can switch between three floodlight modes and it says it's reliable outdoor use. The 3-in-1 floodlight charger and mount is IP65 waterproof. It includes protective silicon layer on the cable connector and an EVA gasket for the back plate. Hardwired installation to outdoor junction box is needed to set up the floodlight. So, I will preface by saying I've already installed one, not this, but a different floodlight that was smart. Interesting enough, um, the problem 
is that if you don't feel comfortable with installing these things yourself, call an electrician. Um, good, is, good thing about hiring an electrician is you know it'll be done right, hopefully, if it's a good electrician. Uh, but it's pretty basic. You can look some stuff up and probably see how to install a basic floodlight. But with every home, you can consider the age, the kind of wiring is all going to change based on your home. So don't just look at one video and say, oh, that's how it's going to be because you can pull off your old light and it could be a disaster. And in my house was built in the, I would say, early to mid 60s. And the wiring is just a joke. So, but I am a little more adventurous, I guess you would say. So we're opening the box here. First thing you're going to see is what looks like, and I'm going to this first time I've seen this. This may, might be the actual, you put the camera in here, the Wise Cam 3. We'll set that aside here. Looks like here's your mounting plate that goes into your junction box, and then the light must go under this. You got some wire, you know, I, I, I call wire screws, but you know, whatever you want to call them. Looks like some um, a rubber seal for to cover where the camera goes, on, the light goes under this. Here is the remote control, pretty basic. I'm not really interested in this. I'm going to probably set it and forget it. Um, the whole point is to have a smart light. So there's that, that was included. Let's see what else we got here. Looks like we got, ooh, and here's your gasket. So the camera will go against this and, oh, and then it'll sit against the wall. Hopefully to seal up from any wire from getting behind. On my house, it's going to sit over a neve. So I'm not too worried about too much water getting in unless it's blown in from the wind. You've got some installation guides, which is never hard to understand or not ever a problem to read through before you start messing with wiring, especially with 120 volts. Oops, you <laughs> Must be getting some batteries for your remote. And my biggest thing is, what is this made of? What does it feel like? Is it cheap? I don't like cheap products. And this was probably about, I think it's about $60. But most smart floodlights were about $200 to $150. So if you think about this, $20 and $60, you get $80. Bucks. So, all right, let's pull this thing out. So here is the light. So you, as you can see, you have some adjustment. They can go out, up and down. This is where your camera is going to mount. So it looks like I was right. You screw this onto here and the camera of this sits right in here. And these little screw holes, there's our holes in the bottom of the mount here. You just set it on there. So it looks like this is where it would go. And then there's a ball in there. It, it goes up and down. And then you can see the ball here. You can move it around as you see fit on the back. You got three wires. You got, oh, that's even really nice. Neutral, live. And a third wire, which I'm, I'm not an electrician, but obviously you want to look at that. Um, I think this is, wow, this is really nicely made. I mean, it feels like plastic, but there's some heavy duty heat sinks in the back of this to keep the, the camera from, um, or the camera, I'm sorry, the lights from getting too hot. Oh, there you go. So it's got some teeth in there. So you can see when you, un you loosen it up, and then when you want it where it's at, you just tighten it back up. So, like I said, these two products together, you have super bright light, motion detection. So this will probably be a little more sensitive than this, I would say, but now I can have the best of both worlds, even though Wise hasn't come out with one yet or may never come out with one. So guys, this is just a quick video of the Wasserstein 3-in-1, Wasserstein 3-in-1 floodlight charger and mount. I'll leave a, uh, a link to their website in the description below. They sell on Amazon too, but if you have a lot of smart cameras that aren't floodlights, they, they sell a ton of products. Not just these kind of things too. They've got all kinds of mounts and 3D printed items just for um, smart cameras. So just a quick extra here. So I pulled the camera out of the box. Um, and you can see how it kind of swivels around and there's some mounting plates. It's actually not screws needed at all. So this is the mount for the light. And these little tabs, you stick it in, and that's it. It's in there. Well, I didn't. <laughs> Let me see if I can get that in there for you guys. There. 
Yeah, see? And then it's in. And then you screw this part into right here. And it's on there, see? And it's fully adjustable just like it would be. So that's how it kind of mounts to the plate that goes right here. So you can see how this, this light is pretty much generic. The difference is the add-on to what kind of camera you're gonna mount. So again, check them out guys. Thanks again for watching. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time.